Welcome to Do You Know What Upper Limit Does in AL? Hey, I'm Eric, and uh, I asked that exact question on uh, Twitter the other day. Um, and um, it kind of looked like this. 80% said, I have no clue what upper limit is. And, and then a few said they learned it in 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 nav and just you know just a couple said hey discovered it in bc um and if we do a business central upper limit search we get a get a few we see something but calc formulas uh um and and it's mentioned in here but otherwise there's no no really documentation what it is um so i thought let's let's do a quick video on what upper limit actually is um the, the, the whole reason i suddenly ventured into this rabbit hole uh was that I was implementing a support for flow fields in the, the simple object designer. So you can create flow fields without writing code and all that good stuff. And you can do that with the simple object designer. Uh, and because it's the simple object designer, I, whenever I try to put a new feature into it, I think a lot about, you know, not making it difficult, not making, giving too many options and, you know, I try to avoid creating the not so simple object designer, um, and 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 then I came across this. But let let me actually show you something. So let's go back to the browser here. Let's go into the chart of account. Um, so here we have the chart of account, and you can see we have two flow fields: net change and balance and date. Um, and uh, clearly they are right now calculating the exact same thing. Um, and if I set a filter, let's try to set a filter, let's filter totals by. So we're setting a flow filter now, uh, and I want to filter on the date filter. Um, and let me do the first of January, till the end of the year. So now one of them changed, right? We we got the net change changed, but balance and date stayed the same. Um, and if I click on this, we can see that now we have clearly only entries in 22. And if I click on the other one, we had entries in 22 and 21, so it's like the filter doesn't do anything here. And it, 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 it didn't change. So let's switch this back to last year. In this case, last year is 21 in this database. Um, and now they both changed. So clearly, the date filter is doing different things on those two flow fields. Um, so let's let's try to look at how that works. Uh, I have created a new extension here as usual. Let me make this big and uh, let's write a table, a tabby, no, a table extension. Number my chart of account, extends GL account. There we go. So we will create a new field. And then we do that in the field section. We'll say field, we get a number. So, and and the magic of just getting the number here is control space. And IntelliSense will tell us what is the next number for the field. Um, so my balance, let's call that. And that has to be a decimal. Uh, we need to tell that the field class for this field is now a flow field. And then we can define the calc formula on how to actually calc 
calculate the flow field. So let's do, so we have different types of flow fields. Let's do a sum. And we want to sum in GL uh, entry. We want to sum the uh, amount field. Uh, so at present, this is what we have here is a fully working uh, sum field. It will calculate the sum of all GL entries, um, and that will should usually give you a zero. But but, but uh, we don't care about that. So we might add some filters, um, and uh, and and we could say that. Um, we could say that GL account number is equal field, and then we we grab the uh, uh, what's what it's actually called. It's called just called number on this one. So GL account number on the entry is should be equal to the field, uh, the number field in uh, in this one. So now we're getting a balance for this account. Um, and the normal thing would be that we now tell that posting date should be um, be set. And this is actually, I think, what we oh, we lost that one. Um, so should be field, and then let's take the date filter. Uh, and let's just for fun uh, do a page extension in the same source file. So now I will get angry letters. Uh, in the mail, people saying you cannot put two objects in the same source file. That is against all rules, but I'm doing it anyway. Add. Uh, after net change, so we'll insert. Mm, there we go. We'll insert my. Wow, an asterisk. We'll insert the my balance. Wow. I am really typing weird today. Sorry. I wonder if I've been out playing a concert. Maybe that's it. Too much trombone. Uh, um, so let's. Deploy this bad boy and see how that goes. We should probably have set the chart of account to be the startup page. Um, let's do that while we, because we probably need to deploy again. So I will go into launch JSON and tell that page 16. Uh, is our startup page blah 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 that's for from another video we don't care about that uh chart of account let's close the filter thing and we can make this wider so now we have my balance and and right now we can see that It's sort of okay. Down here, something is happening, uh, but that is because I am pointing the account to the account field and not pointing to the totaling. Uh, I think we let's ignore that. Let's look at these two. We can see that this clearly works. At least it calculates the right number. So if we start applying our our filters here, we should see that. Uh, if we do the one one twenty one dot dot twelve thirty one twenty one, this one our new column works the exact same way as the net change. So we have replicated net change sort of, at least with that single filter. But clearly we have not replicated this, and this is where, this is where the fun begins, and this is where the the upper limit thing comes. So what we can do here is tell that we only want half of this filter. More specifically, we only want the top half of the filter. Uh, if I try to hit um, tooltip here and try to, let's 
clear date fill out for a second and I type upper. No, you can't type upper. That is no. But if I insist on saying, eh, I know better than the editor. Now upper limit gets a different color and, and it's sort of happy. And then I get, we get the best, uh, so, so this is a, this is so rare that, that it didn't even get to Microsoft, you know, product, proper tool chip, uh, IntelliSense documentation. So this is the upper limit formula keyword token, which is probably the technical term for, for that part in, 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 in the parser. Uh, but that's certainly not how it should be represented to, to the user. Anyway, so this is clearly the upper limit. And now I can not really do anything here. You know, maybe we are allowed. Sometimes you can trick it into working anyway. So now we're saying that we only want the top half of this filter. So let's hit a file. And we are, we have the three numbers on screen. So filter total by, and let's do the, the one, one, 21, one, 31, 21. And now you can see that now we have replicated balance at date. So that is how that is working. So if we go back in here and we grab the base app and if, and now I'm, I'm using the A set AL extension, uh, let me see where it is, this guy, to be able to browse the content of a simple file. And if we find table 15, double click on that, and we go and look for net change, we can see that uh, we are doing a, this is a, is a flow field. We're summing the amount uh, field. And apart from they, as I was told, they were using the field filter totaling, which is kind of interesting. Also, that's another secret syntax. Um, then we can see that posting date is just field date filter. But the very previous field, actually, <laughs> the very next, I was just saying the very next field, but it was apparently one just before, balance at date. We can see that here that this is more or less the same thing with, let's, if I make it one smaller, see, this is more or less the exact same thing with one difference is that up here, they're using upper limit to slice that filter uh, into two and only applying the to this date. So from any date to this date to build the concept of a balance to date. I don't know how, in how many spots uh, this is actually being used, but mainly for, for the purpose of a balance to date calculation. So that was 13 minutes on a very obscure part of Business Central. Um, I hope you, let, 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 if you think that I should implement this in the, in, in the simple object designer for the purpose of completeness or something like that, let me know in the comments below. I think this is, this is beyond simple uh, and, and will probably confuse more people than it would help, but let me know. And if you want more AL tips and tricks, you know where to find them right here in this video. It's a good one filled with other AL hacking and uh, I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.